Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Yeah, that's right. Me? I'm pretty good. Got a little sun today. Got out in the hot tub. Just couldn't resist. I got out there in the daytime and uh, I left my hat inside. I got so comfortable. I said, oh, I'll be okay with this. Mm -mm. It didn't work. So what are we doing today? Well, thank you for asking. So do you remember uh, a couple of videos back? I was telling you about Amper Time sent me some lithium batteries. Tonight I'll refresh your memory here. Let me get my uh, my bug zapper that uh, Karen and Carolyn gave me put over here. I'll put it back in the box. But to Amper Time, they reached out to me and wanted to send me some batteries. And I told them about the Purple Tiny House and that I was wanting to make it completely off grid if necessary so they sent me five of their 200 amp hour lithiums really nice handle sofa so forth and everything got five of them but since that video they have sent me a battery charger now, this is not going to charge all these batteries extremely fast but uh, I think it takes about two to three hours to charge one battery from zero to full. So there's that. But I got to get these batteries out of the boxes and out to my garage. I got a plan. You got a plan? You got a plan? Yeah, Tuck, I've got a plan, Stan. My, my, my name's my name's not Stan. You ain't right. But when I open up the box, I gotta thank you right off the bat. Give us the little things, Tuck. Yeah, man, it's the little things. Here, hold that for me. So, uh, you're not funny. Got the, uh, the product manual here. Let me show this thing to you. So what are you gonna do with this thing anyways? It looks kind of funny. Well, I'm going to use it to charge the batteries, Tuck. I, th I thought you was going to use solar. Well, eventually, uh, Tucker, I will. But this uh, system I'm going to put together, this system I'm going to put together is to, uh, it's like an emergency backup for now. So I'll have uh, the batteries put together, wired together, and then I'll use this battery charger to keep them topped off. Does lithium take a special charger? It does, Tucker. It's got to have its own uh, battery algorithm. So, pretty handy dandy. Looks like it shows the voltage right here. Voltage amps. Charging. Shows when it's full. If you got an error message. It's got some neat ways to uh, attach to the battery. So you can leave these attached to the battery. Got a quick disconnect. This is to plug into the back of the unit here. To plug into the wall. So as long as I got power, I can uh, plug into a wall outlet and get these batteries charged up in case of an emergency. Now I will eventually get them where I can uh, charge them off the solar. But for now, just think of a Think of like a big power station that I'm building. A, a real big one. That's right, Tuck, a, a real big one. Okay, I've got the four amper times open. That's 800 amp hours of LifePo 4 lithium battery. One in the box. What are you doing? Why you got one in the box? That is another project. For this project, I'm just using four. This will be later on in the year. What are you doing, baby, Mei Mei? 
I'll tell you, ever since she's been hurt, this little girl right here has been stuck to me like glue. Where I go is where she goes. Now this right here, I bought this at a yard sale, flea market, and it's a falcon tow bar. I mean, I think I did show it on my channel. So it came off of a Jeep Wrangler, I think. I'm gonna modify it to fit the tracker. Use this to put behind Bigfoot. And then I'm gonna give uh, Felix the tow bar that came with my tracker and the attachments so he can pull his behind his RV. Okay, start sharing with you my plan. I, I knew you were coming. I'm going right here. So what am I going to do? I'll show you. I've been a little bit busy. I went to Lowe's and got one of these Gorilla Cart wagons. This thing here will hold up, a, I think, uh, a thousand pounds of weight. And... Uh, Real easy to put together. It's either 129, 139, 149, something like that. Now she is using that leg a little bit more. Not as much as what I want. I heard somebody behind me. Hey, bro. Hey, Felix. Have I told you my plan, what I plan to do with uh, all these batteries? No. I was just telling them. I'll tell you at the same time. So I went to Lowe's. And I got one of these heavy duty, uh, we call them landscape carts or, uh -huh. you know, people doing gardening and whatnot. Uh -huh. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to line this thing with plywood and I'm going to set the batteries in here. I may put plywood on the walls. You're going to say, why are you, you going to do that, Camper Van Kevin? Plywood on the wall to put the system up, no? Well, think about this. I'll have 800 amp hours of battery power that I can move. It won't just be stuck in the purple tiny house. I can roll it up in the uh, garage of the Bigfoot. I can roll it out here for power. I can roll it into the uh, cabin over there for power. And uh, it won't just be stuck in one place. Also, if I decide to leave Vagabond Base Camp, It won't grow legs. Why? Because it'll be with me. I got a fairly elaborate alarm and camera system up here. I've made friends with the neighbors. Um, I've already got a plan. If my cameras go off, they live right across the road. They can be here in a minute, literally. But, uh, you know, I might need that extra 800 amp hours with me. If I go down to Quartzsite or back up into Flagstaff and with my garage underneath the Bigfoot, that can go with me. That'll give me a total of 1,400 amp hours of lithium power. So my buddy Frank, our buddy Frank, he took his truck down, picked me up some plywood. I went back and I picked up some two-by-fours to get ready to build this thing. This thing hardly weighs much at all. Beep, beep, beep. Watch out, Tucker. Man, you, you almost killed me. Be careful with that thing. Can you pick up much? You check the weight on these? No, no, I don't check the weight. They, they look like they're heavy. They look like they're heavy, but they're lithiums. Tell me what, tell me what you think. Oh, they're not too bad. Right? That's the beauty of lithium. You yeah. store twice the power in lithium at more than, less than half the weight. Uh, you know who else has amper time? That's uh, David gone boondocking. Oh, you got these? He's, yeah, I didn't know that. I was talking to him the other day, and he said he has some. Oh, wow. I may go down if he'll let me. 
and video his system. You know, he's the he's the brain. He's the yeah, guy that used to yeah. program ro robots and whatnot. He's the guy that did the hour shower and, and got the idea of putting uh, mini splits on RVs. So if it's good enough for David going boondocking, they're good enough for me. So I don't have a square big enough to cut the the lengthwise of it. Just using a good old two before. This thing, uh, Frank, it cost almost as much as a square. Mm -hmm. You know, two by four, what are they, $80 a piece now? Mm -hmm. At least $5. Better be square. So. Here we go. Measure. Measure once, cut twice. It worked. So I'm looking for ways to wedge these batteries in. And I don't <clears throat> I don't have a table saw to rip these two by fours. And I'm just not good enough with a circular saw to do it. So I had the idea of using some pipe. Because I need just like seven eighths of an inch. So got some inch pipe here put it on either side it's plastic I'm going to use that as a border to hold these batteries in so they don't slide around how's that for MacGyver he'd be proud right here uh, got a supervisor Miss Caravan Carolyn and baby May May she's the supervisor okay Ron's a supervisor no. uh, I'm her supervisor uh, uh, okay <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of gates laying around here, so. Uh, <laughs> with this pipe here, fix them to uh, screw it down, and that'll make a border to where these batteries won't slide. Man, what are you doing and stuff? Tucker, I'm gonna make sure these batteries don't slide around in this new uh, little wagon. So, there's metal. Uh, I beams will go across this and so I'm going to drill here and down there now to keep these batteries in place I don't have a table saw so I've got to do this instead but I think it's going to work great uh, I'm not impressed just you wait what's that? dinner's ready alright okay well this is about as far as I got today. Stay tuned for some uh, some more videos on this uh, battery cart. But Frank and Tammy have cooked supper for the whole vagabond group camp here. RV Rebel Girl is going to take all the macaroni salad. I, and I'm, I'm, I, made I am cheating on my keto because I want to taste her macaroni salad. All right. I made plenty. It looks good. Thank Can you. I, Thank you, Tammy. You're yes, welcome. Thank you. All right. This is as good a place as, as any to end a video. What was that? What's that? Sloppy Joe's? Mamages? Yeah, but I, I'm using keto. Sloppy um, Joe's. Tortillas for mine. All right. Okay. Well, I think that's going to make today's video. So I'm going to end it where? Right I here. Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. And you guys take care. And as always, I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ, he's my Lord and Savior. See you next video. Bye from Vagabond Base Camp. I'm sorry I couldn't hear you. You had something in your mouth.